Welcome to Keep Heading East. I'm Murray from the YSC Cookery School, and if you're joining us again, then welcome back. And if you're joining this series for the first time, you've joined us in the United States of America, the 27th stop on our whistle stop tour of global feasting. You can check out the main introduction to this series by clicking the on-screen link in the cards, or follow the link in the description to download the free PDF cookbook with all the dishes that we'll be cooking from this series. Or if you prefer a printed version, then there's one available as well. It's often easy to define a country's cuisine because of the food and the recipes are indigenous to the region and they kind of stem from a necessity and, and, and ingredients that are locally available. However, since America is such a huge area made up of so many different cultures from a whole host of countries, and it's a relatively new country, it's a little bit difficult to determine true American cuisine. The United States is a melting pot of cultures as a result of many immigrants that came from various countries across the globe uh, and adding to the diversity of the food. Now while geographically America has many different climates and access to many different ingredients, this country has established sort of several dishes that are considered examples of American food tradition. There are hundreds of dishes that could be listed as American, but there are certain few dishes that kind of fit the classic image of American food. Firstly, the All-American Cookout. Now, although Americans take relatively few holidays compared to other countries, when it comes to holidays like Memorial Day, 4th of July or Labor Day, families right across the US fire up their grills or barbecues, invite some friends around and have a good old fashioned cookout. Complete with all the expected traditional American favorites like hamburgers and hot dogs, potato salad, coleslaw, and these kind of things. And, and of course, not to forget a tasty rack of barbecue ribs or chicken and brisket on the grill. Or in the slow cooker, smoking until it's tender and perfect. Now, there's a lot of competition surrounding the southern barbecue and it's a huge topic in itself. So I'll leave it to four times barbecue world champion Myron Mixon to explain how to slow cook a couple of St. Louis racks on a Weber. Then there's good old southern cooking. Food from down south has become sort of a big part of the American classics. Things like fried chicken, chicken dumplings, chicken fried steak and gravy, fried green tomatoes or shrimp and grits. These dishes have become popular from California through to Maine. And common dishes for Thanksgiving like cornbread and corn pudding may have southern roots but couldn't really be more American. Like the British, the Americans love meat and potatoes, although usually on a, on a larger scale. And the American Steakhouse is a great example of this country's love for beef and lots of it. And many are considered landmarks in, the, in cities nationwide. A grilled ribeye with a massive side of mashed potatoes couldn't really be more American. Then there's comfort food like macaroni and cheese, chicken pot pie, chili, pot roast, meatloaf, all of which create an image of sitting by the fire, eating warm, comforting food on a cold day. Now with so much coastline, it would be impossible to not do seafood in abundance as well. And Americans have created one of the best shellfish samplers around, the New England Clam Bank. Now it's not just about clams, complete with uh, Maine lobster, local clams or mussels, as well as potatoes, corn on the cob, and served with clam chowder. This summertime meal in one is the height of summertime gluttony. The essentials are a fire, some stones for holding the heat, some soaked seaweed to add some flavor, and most importantly, to add steam to the sort of slow cook the food. And there are many versions of this, um, stemming from a simple hole dug in the beach to big full on setups, big enough to feed a whole community. And I've linked to a clip from a coastal restaurant that, that gives you a pretty good idea of how, how to do it on scale. And then there's the crabs from both coasts for big boil ups or for uh, the classic sort of crab cakes, things like that. And then there's the desserts. Americans definitely are known for having um, somewhat of a sweet tooth. And the saying as American as apple pie kind of sums it up quite well. And then there's cherry pie, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, key lime pie, and the list just kind of goes on. Which brings me to our recipe in the Keep Heading East cookbook for this week, which is donuts. Now, although clearly an import from the French, you don't really need to go far in America to find the humble donut. And our recipe is one of the best that I've come across. They aren't really as hard to make as you might imagine. And whether you fill them with jam or chocolate or cut them in half and fill them with cream, 
uh, to die for. One is never enough and it's definitely something for the weekend. So that's it for this stop on our Keep Heading East Tour of Global Cuisine. I hope you've enjoyed it. Links are on screen now for the videos I mentioned earlier if you'd like to see a little more from the region. And remember, for our subscribers, there's a fantastic cookbook to accompany this series. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe and grab yourself a free PDF copy of our cookbook. Or if you prefer a hard copy, the links are there as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you.